Hi, we're here with Jim Travitz of Holy Cross Health. And Jim is also the president of the Vibe user group for our HCIS division. Thank you for joining me, Jim. Uh, we, we're looking to get some background about Vibe. Uh, your, your role as Vibe president and what you see as the future of the Vibe user group. Yeah, I've uh, taken on the president uh, role in the Vibe and looking at the very important way of, for users to collaborate, to share what's important to CareStream in uh, you know, upcoming versions, and also collaborate amongst users. So one of the key things that we've noticed is, you know, as a CareStream user, how do I reach out to another colleague that's using the same system and maybe have some ideas of what I'm trying to accomplish and get in contact with them? So collaboration is a very uh, key goal to our users group. Um, one of the other aspects we saw is uh, we wanted a mechanism that we could bring clarity to the voice of the users group. Uh, you know, it's one thing to say, hey, this is important or that's important, but as a group, what do we consider uh, important to all of us? And that gives CareStream a better idea as well as how to look forward to develop their product uh, and what areas should they be looking at. Uh, so it's a, it helps them as well. Um, another key aspect we looked at is how do we share content? So uh, we looked at you know ways that we can put in uh, you know if you have developed a hanging protocol that would work great on your system, well that'd be nice for maybe another colleague to have. So uh, how do we share that content amongst our users? Uh, so we we're still in the process of developing the user's uh, website. Uh, we have a good start, but we know we have some work to do as well. Uh, we're in the process of laying down that plan uh, as we speak, and uh, we're really looking for uh, users to, to reach out, to start joining that, and we're, we're really starting a marketing plan where we can, you know, as new installations are installing, hey, you know, jump on by the Vibe group, uh, get engaged, because that's really what we're looking for is user engagement into uh, the process of, you know, sharing that and collaboration. One other key thing I will mention that we've noticed is we had CareStream users that um, have the platform and they're asked questions, but uh, and, the, and the answers are, you already have that. So what we've discovered is a need for education. So by developing webinars specifically for maybe hanging protocols or leads and detection, uh, some of the key new features we're doing. So we want to balance that at what the need is for uh, the users have the systems they already have, but also new things that are coming out. Hey, uh, you know this is where this is on the roadmap. The you know so they can properly plan for an upgrade or uh, or those things that they're looking or go back to their administration and say, hey, this is coming out. We should be looking at this. This is going to meet our need. So those are really the key features that we see. Uh, uh, with the users group. Uh, I'm the president, so I'm uh, looking for people to help me. I have a couple openings on the board. Uh, so, uh, Which openings? So I have, I'm looking really two key positions. One is a PAX knowledge manager and a risk knowledge manager. Uh, I, I really need that input. I'm looking for that to help support me that we can focus the group. And people might be wondering, you know, what type of user do I need to be in order to join this group? you provide some background about uh, the requirements in able to in order to join this group? Uh, the, the group is open. Uh, I, want, I really want to have PAX administrators, uh, I really want re, uh, radiologists, and I want to have administrators as well. So all those are key people in the radiology department that uh, we're looking for input on, and they're looking to collaborate with because everyone has a workflow that uh, they're looking to fulfill a, a fix or a, a need for that workflow, whether it be a radiologist on how to use lesion detection or maybe on a PAX admin as far as how do I manage my system, how do I keep data in sync between multiple servers, you know, and from administrator, how do I have dashboard that I can see turnaround times and have that report given to me. So I'm looking for all those people to join Vive. I think there's a need to share and collaborate that information together. And we're at RSNA 2013 right now. Have you received some feedback about Vive? 
I have, um, and they are really looking at uh, user collaboration. That's really one of that, that and webinars, because uh, they see the need as well to share the information. Uh, very important for them to discover people that are on the, on the, trying to like scan in documents or trying to use voice recognition. So they want to collaborate amongst users, as well as you know we they like to learn about their system and how they can use it, you know, to a further extent. And finally, people who are maybe just learning about Vibe now, if you could offer them key benefits that they could get out of joining Vibe, what would those key benefits be? I think the key benefits are first to be able to see your peers that are in that have CareStream that are, you know, that you can engage with and see what uh, they have and one-on-one and -on -one find out what's going on. And then also being able to post, hey, this is what's happening in my site. Uh, and then have, you know, we have people watching those forums and getting that information. Uh, I think that's, that's what they're looking for. They're really looking for that. Uh, and training, education is a valuable piece. Well, Jim, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it, and thank you for providing more information about Vibe. Thank you. You're welcome.